Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. I apologize for the dreadful appearance, but there's a reason why I have no face makeup on whatsoever. Nothing. As you can see from the title, I am coming to you guys with kind of like a review slash demo on a new collection that came out from IT Cosmetics and it is the New Year Your Most Beautiful Skin Collection and as you can see it comes with five products and I think it's amazing. I actually purchased the CC Cream already. Um, as you can see here and I purchased this in December and I've been using it non-stop for my hideously dry skin so I'm gonna show you guys everything that comes in the collection and the first thing is the CC color correcting co full coverage cream which is the same thing I have in the tube here and it is in the shade medium that's the color that I opted for and I think it's a perfect match now this comes in a beautiful holographic compact which I think it's amazing I love the color of their packaging and you just push the button open it up you get a full size mirror, which is, it's got a, a film on it. It comes with a little sponge and on it, it comes with a film and it says a little goes a long way. So one press is all you need for flawless perfection. And when you pull it open, there's a little hole there. Next thing in the collection is the CC Airbrush Perfecting Powder. And it is a sheer to full coverage optical blurring finishing veil. And they were mentioning something about it feeling so like silk on the skin. And I was like, yeah. And it comes in a compact as well, which I think is really pretty. I just removed the film from it. And then when you flip it over, it comes with a sponge, which I think it's pretty awesome. So the next thing in the five piece collection is the CCI Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream. It has the serums as does the foundation and it comes with a cool spoon technology, which I find gimmicky, but I know it works. It comes with the metal tip and it's cool to the touch. And I can't wait to try this because I'm feeling a little sallowness going on. The next thing is the CC Blurred Lines Smooth Fill Lipstick and the Colors in Love. And it comes with the same color for every kit. It is a really pretty universal color. It has that traditional like vanilla cupcake scent. Very similar to MAC. It looks really, really pretty. I haven't swatched it yet. I haven't touched it. So I will be using that along with everything else. And last but not least, the piece of resistance is their brush. The whole price of this collection, which I will have linked right here, right right there. Yeah, right there. That's the price. Um, it pretty much is the cost of the brush. So you're paying for the brush and getting four items of makeup full full products of makeup. So this is the brush and this is called their angled buffing foundation brush and it is not dense. It's it's very soft. I really soft and it's angled. It's tapered but it's angled. Um, you could definitely use it for powder or for foundation. I think I'm going to use it for both. I'm just going to clean it in between the use of my foundation to powder. So I kind of wanted to give it a go with both products. But I hear that the IT Cosmetics um, brushes are amazing. And I was so happy to get one in this collection. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Like you need to see all that. And go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and use the IT um, number 50 primer. I'm just going to use it on the central parts of my face and just bring the rest out. Even though I said I wasn't going to use the compact for the sake of this video and to show you guys how to use the product, I will go ahead and open it up. So that's pretty much product. I usually use about that much on my face. So that's pretty cool. And I'm just going to take a little bit. And what I do is I pretty much just stipple it on. This brush is extremely soft. Now this leaves a very dewy finish. And what I'm going to do is right now is just kind of pack it on those damn face demons I have. And just let it sit there for a second while I finish blending it out on the rest of my face. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a clean piece of paper towel and some alcohol. I use 91% isopropyl alcohol. You can get it at Walgreens, Walmart, wherever. I usually get it from Walmart. And I just pump it into my um, paper towel. And I'm just going to clean it off for next use. And there's like a little stopper right there. So... I wouldn't be getting any alcohol or any product or any bacteria into this. 
So I think that's pretty awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the cool spoon technology for the CCI color corrector. Let me just go ahead and take a little bit out. So you can see there. Ooh, it's cold. Okay. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> it's cold. My office is freezing, so I think that this is like pretty cool. Pretty cool technology. And once you're done squeezing out product, you can actually move this around. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and blend this with my finger and see how long it takes me to do it. I might want to just use my beauty blender. Really nice on the skin. It's very light. So I'm going to go ahead and use my beauty blender. I'm going to use a sponge because this is going to take too long. Ain't nobody got time for that. go ahead and use the airbrush perfecting powder and using the same brush this one's cleaned off and dry I cleaned it with alcohol and I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this powder and pack that on my skin it feels very lush <laughs> and I'm doing under the eyes normally I use a different powder for under the eyes I can probably even add some Cody Airspun to this just to lighten up the under eye a little bit. It gives you that extra coverage. As you can see, it's not as shiny as this side is, but it does give you that glow, which I can appreciate. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pat a little bit under the eyes and I'm going to go ahead and use another powder for under my eyes because I don't like it that shiny. This powder feels so nice and it keeps the dewiness of the skin. So if you're one that has oily skin and doesn't really care, for products that are like very dewy, this is not for you. I must say I feel very glowy and this has no shimmers on it, but you can see the shine and the sheen like right there. So I wouldn't even need a highlighter if I if I didn't want to put a highlight, I didn't need one. Like you can see the sheen. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my Wayne Goss brush and just powder under my eyes just to take away some of that shine. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my look by bronzing and highlighting and all that good stuff and then I'll be right back. So I have already lined my lips using my Jordana Easy Liner in Baby Berry which is my favorite go-to baby pink for any lipsticks for mostly my nudes too. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the CC Blurred Lines lipstick in the color Love and I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. Why not, right? Oh wow, this is a uh, very creamy. It actually matches my lip liner pretty well. It goes on smooth and it goes on effortlessly. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it on the back of my hand. It is very pale on the back of my hand and as you can see it's starting to darken up a little bit. And on my lips it looks like my lips but better color. And I think that was the concept. Of this lipstick that it would make your lips look like your lips but better so I really um I actually like this so overall I'm really loving this I, I'm really loving all of this the brush is really nice very good for powdered uh, the powder that comes with it everything feels so soft and silky I feel healthy and luminous my skin looks luminous with or without highlight, which I find very shocking for someone that just caked their face on pretty much, especially for me. I don't like caking on my products, but I felt like, you know what? What the hell? Let's cake it on. So I did, and I feel like my skin looks smooth. There's a great, like, there's no lines from my neck to my face. Everything blends out seamlessly. I did pick the shade medium, so if you're my complexion or maybe a little bit uh, darker, this might be a shade for you. Um, the light, it comes in fair light, medium, tan, and dark. So there should be a range there for just about everyone. I don't know how dark the dark is. I'm assuming it's not as dark as my beautiful chocolate women out there, but I'm just letting you guys know. And I don't know. I'm loving it. I already love the foundation. That's a given um, because I've been using it since December. So I kind of have my advantage in knowing that I love the foundation very, very much. But the powder, even the concealer, even if the concealer is not light, I feel that the like brightening properties of it gave me that brightness that I was looking for right under the eye. So I can really appreciate something like that. So 
so far so good i'm loving it i know the foundation will wear very well on my skin i just want to see how everything else wears but the lipstick is really really nice it's more of a bomb it's meant to be like your lips but better color so don't expect a big color payoff and that's a swatch right there so that's pretty much it i'm loving this anyway guys i hope you guys like this video please thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and as always i'll see you guys in my next video i love you guys bye